continuing to field questions for you, Samili. I have a student from within the Telegram group who's asking about during dedicated prep, which subjects slash systems should he focus on? He's studying for step one. Now, I will give you a very good answer here, okay? During dedicated, two, we'll say two to four weeks out, right? That's your dedicated. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now let's start the clip. So during dedicated, which subjects should you focus on? Which systems? And I said I can give a very fucking excellent answer here, which is first and foremost, you're going to make sure you get through High Yield Arrows PDF, which I'll link in. Uh, a pinned comment below. High Yield Arrows is going to be your safety net where if you know that, uh, that's going to significantly increase the chance that you're going to pass the step one. So it's a broad uh, coalescence of various topics, uh, a lot of endocrine, uh, but many concepts regarding uh, just basic pass level content. And if you know that PDF really well, going to significantly increase your chance of passing. Now, apart from high yield arrows, uh, just general systems uh, as far as what you should cover. Endocrine, okay, and as I just said, high yield arrows contains a lot of that, but you got to make sure you know your endocrine, your hormones really well. You got to make sure you know your hereditary conditions really well. Um, but I mean, as such as Duchenne cystic fibrosis, uh, the phacomatoses, okay, so NF1, NF2, von Hippolindo, tuberous sclerosis hereditary spherocytosis, right? You got to know a lot of just hereditary conditions, uh, but, you know, those are spread out across like broad organ systems, right? So in terms of during dedicated, you got to make sure you go through my high yield PDFs, not just high yield arrows. That's the most important one, but just go through my high yield PDFs uh, in the evenings after you uh, go through your NBME exam. So I've made tons of clips talking about how you need to memorize NBMEs 20 through 30. Okay, you're going to be screenshotting all of the incorrects from those exams into a PDF, into a Word document saving as a PDF. Um, and you can also screenshot your incorrects into Anki format and then have as, the answer as the back card. Um, don't write explanations. It'll take you too much time. Just you're going to compile a massive fucking Anki deck of your incorrect uh, screenshots from the NBME exams, 20 to 30. You're going to make sure you know those hardcore. And you, as I said, not just high arrows, but you're going to go through all my PDFs during dedicated it's uh, once you cover the high yield arrows and the endocrine, um, it really doesn't fucking matter which organ systems you cover, all right? Because uh, we don't know exactly what the tilt will be on your exam, okay? It's sort of karmic that way. It's like what you choose not to study is what you're going to get a lot of. It's just how it works. Like, you know, you ignore biochemistry, and then you're going to get a lot of biochemistry on your exam. Someone else studies a lot of biochemistry and gets nothing on their exam. So, it's a, it's a toss-up as to what the tilt or the skew will be as far as subjects on your exam, but you will not pass your simile if you don't know arrow questions, like the hormones really, really well, and uh, the hereditary condi conditions, as I said. I should just make a final point that when I say don't know arrow questions really well, I'm not talking about where every fucking question you get is going to be literally an up or a down arrow. That's not what I mean. What I'm referring to is just you get a vignette where they have in the the information they provide you, they might say that the calcium and the phosphate are in certain directions, and those are essentially arrows, okay? So it's the understanding of the concepts broadly that is arrows, quote-unquote, for USMLA. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.